What was the moment that your game of truth and dare got way out of control? I have posted this before, but... We, three guys and three girls, were all in the hot tub at this chick's house playing truth or dare. And I get dared to go mash my dick balls up against her parents' bedroom window. Granted, it's like 1am, and the whole house is completely dark, so I thought it would be no big deal. Get out of the hot tub, run over to the window, drop my suit, and smash my junk up against the window for a few moments. Then, in the reflective light of the pool, I catch a glimpse of her parents sitting right inside the window, watching us from inside. They didn't even blink, just just watched me. T was fucking terrifying. Terrifying. Like, I saw them for a split fucking second as the light passed over the glass, just inches away from my mashed up dick on the other side of the window. Something from a horror movie. I gasped and ran back to the hot tub. Got back in, and just sat there in complete silence. A couple minutes later, her dad comes outside laughing, hands me a beer, and then reminisces with all of us for a minute about the crazy shit he did when he was a kid. I've never felt a shock like I did when I saw their faces, it still haunts me sometimes, but it all turned out better than expected. 10 years old, first game of truth or dare where things could get a bit wild for 10. It was with two girls who were 11 and 12. They had me come up to the 12 year old's bedroom and we started playing. Small truth and dare esque stuff, then it came down to the brass tacks. These girls, turns out, both had a crush on me, they wanted to kiss me. All three of us sitting in a circle on 12 year old's bed, and I was nervous. Had never kissed before. So me being the player I was, I stammered about and acted all shy. 11 year old says it's okay, we practice here all the time, it's fun. These two start making out in front of me, and I was scared to death. But they were kind, ease me into it. First kiss was a three way kiss with two older girls. I guess my body realized we had to fast track some things because suddenly I found pubes within a month on me. Dunno if this is fucked up or awesome still. Not my game. Last year in the middle of class, there was a group of girls playing truth or dare. All of a sudden, I hear my name, I look over and they start giggling. One of the girls who I'm friends with walks over, smiles at me, and then tells me that this is just a one time thing, and... She punches me in the dick. I didn't punch her back, we laughed about it. There was a time we were playing truth or dare in a hot tub. A girlfriend of ours had dared me to get hard in front of everyone. So I get up out of the tub and start playing with myself. Then from around the corner of the house I get a flashlight in my face. That was the time I masturbated in front of a police officer. There was a noise complaint so the cops showed up, they entered the yard wrongfully and I got off scot-free. Late to the party, but goddamn this is my absolutely favorite story to tell. It was around 1998 or so. My buddy had gotten kicked out of his house, and had emotional issues stemming from living with narcissists, Tourette syndrome, and being an introvert. He was also having girl trouble, as he was the sort of guy who would fall hard in love with any girl who gave him the time of day, let alone showed any interest in him. In a hoe. My family took him in and let him crash there for a few weeks while his folks came to their senses. He's laying on the floor of my room, and I know he wants to talk about his issues. But he's the sort of person that wants a cover of it being a game in case he says something that someone is put off by. So, in order to let him get something off his chest, I asked him truth or dare and it starts probably 3 or so hours of him talking about his shit. Now, I've got a work in the morning. And by this time he's just rehashing shit he's already said. So in an effort to attempt to get some sleep, I tell him either you pick there, or I roll over and ignore your ass. Still to this day, I don't know why he did it. But he picked there. I had just gotten over being sick, with bad bronchitis, sitting on my nightstand as a jar of Vicks Vapo Rub. 
trying to think of something that would end this, without blatantly telling him I dare you to STF you so I can sleep I spy the bottle on my little nightstand and I backhand swapped it to him. I dare you to rub this on your scrotum. He looks at it, unscrews the cap, and sniffs the bottle. Dunno if it was to verify it was genuine Vix, or if he'd never used it before, but he did. Then he asked me how much to use. Two fingers in the jar, run them around the inside. He does so and comes up with an amount equivalent to a golf ball. I see his hand disappear down into the sleeping bag and see motions that are indicative of someone playing with their balls. He pulls his hand out, sniffs it again, and asks. What's that supposed to do? His eyes go wide. He clutches his junk, and curls into the fetal position. I'm burying my face in my pillow because I'm laughing so hard I can't breathe. I don't want to wake up my parents across the hall, so I'm muffling as much laughter as I can while my friend lies in agony. Finally I get enough air in my lungs to tell him to go wash it off. My friend proceeds to stand up in the sleeping bag and bunny hop down the hall to the bathroom. I hear the sounds of the faucet being turned on full blast followed by a very relieved a come from the bathroom. About 5 minutes go by and my buddy comes back into my room, sleeping bag over his shoulder and hand around his crotch. He's taking baby steps as he comes back to the spot on the floor he was at before, lays down, and mumbles softly it didn't help. Many, many years later I force him to revisit this particularly shameful incident. We're still friends. He's like a brother to me. During a game of truth or dare, my wife picked truth. And they asked her what was the nastiest thing she ever did in bed and she answered. My husband. To be fair, it was a pretty suck burn. Me. Truth. My sister. Mum and dad never loved you. Me. I don't think that's how the game works. When I was around around 10 I played truth or dare with some girls a few years older than me. I got dared to TP the principal's house of their school. It was a pretty big house maybe 3500 square featuring. They all ended up coming with me, but my dad catches us sneaking out and asks us where we're going. All of the girls start stammering and trying to tell a lie, and I look at my dad and say we're gonna go TP a house. My dad starts laughing and responds with well sounds like you need adult supervision for that let's go. We ended up bringing a 10 pack of toilet paper and using the entire thing. Twas a fun a night. Playing with some friends a long time ago. It was a card based game, like Cards Against Humanity, where everyone had a pile of truth cards and dare cards. For each turn the victim would opt for a truth or a dare. The questioner would then pull the top card from the appropriate stack. Either a card with a question on it, usually off color or loaded with sexual innuendo. Or a card with a dare on it, also semi-sexual, but suitable for adult parties. We were two couples, and so we took turns as couples, that is each partner would take turns with the other partner of the couple. The other couple was a pair of young newlyweds. The woman asked her husband if he wanted a truth or a dare. He replied truth. She pulled the top card. Have you ever paid for sex? His answer. Yes. Things got very chilly the rest of the night. Not out of control but pretty hilarious. Junior year of college. My three sophomore year roommates and I had moved off campus to a condo. Myself and one other had girlfriends who stayed there quite often. Roommate 2 was too prude to have one. Roommate 3, Timmy, was an ass and of course did not have one. What he did have was the only couch in the condo. During Never Have I Ever Roommate 1's girlfriend said Never Have I Ever Fooled Around on Timmy's Couch and she and Roommate 1 proceeded to drink. My girlfriend, now wife, and I both drank, and two other couples who did not even live there drank. Timmy of course did not drink and instead got really pissed off. Emmy. Dare. Wife. I dare you not to pull out. Our baby is 5 months old now. Probably 20 years old at the time. 
girlfriend, her sister and girl cousin from Germany were in the car. Cousin says let's play and so we all said okay. All fun and games till we pull over into a McDonald's parking lot and I get dared to walk in and order fries in my underwear. They drove off and I had to borrow the phone to call my GF to make them come back for me. Saw all their tits though, so it was worth it.